Hi everyone, I'm Gianni and this is my girlfriend Monica. We quit our jobs in London to follow our dreams of traveling. We've been dreaming of a new adventure, so we decided to come to Vietnam as our first destination. With a budget of £10,000 each, we plan to journey around Southeast Asia. We don't know yet how long the trip will last or where exactly we'll be able to visit. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be an adventure. So join us on this journey as we explore the different cultures, landscape and food of Southeast Asia. We are on the first flight from Gatwick Ho Chi Minh City, direct with Bamboo Airlines. So this is a ceremony, they're giving away some uh, cookies at the moment. Nice. I didn't know that it was the first flight. No, we, also, we didn't pay that much actually, so that was nice. We arrived in Vietnam, 6.30 a.m. here. Yeah, we're finally out. Almost out of the airport, but where is the exit here? Yeah, plus we need a SIM card before yeah, we exit. Yeah, we need to find a SIM card so we can uh, order a Grab. Grab is basically taxi like Uber, so we can get to the hotel. Maybe Even we though... should use the Wi-Fi to download Grab yeah. and maybe order now. Uh, we rather could... than without the SIM. Oh, we could do that. Actually. Yeah, maybe let's do that. So we are on the taxi, we're going to the cafe and then we're checking in our Airbnb. Because it's 7 a.m. now and our check in is at 11. Yeah, so we need to wait quite a bit actually. But it's okay, it's okay. It's super sunny, very nice day. show you our Airbnb. Maybe it's a bit messy now. <laughs> uh, well, one part of it is nice. Yeah, which part? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, the room is quite simple. It's a very simple room. So we, have, we have the bed, we have the desk over here, so Monica can work. Then the bathroom, it's over here. Very, very simple. We have a wardrobe over here. And very simple. Yeah. We have a nice fridge also. We have a bit of a view. Let me show you the balcony. The balcony is quite nice actually. Simple Airbnb. It's quite spacious, actually. We have also a chair over there. So, yeah. We're paying 20 pounds per night, so not bad, not bad. There were a cheaper option than this, but it was quite difficult to find uh, a desk with a chair to work from, and uh, this was one, like one of the only options that was at this price. But you can find easily for 10 pounds a night something similar without a desk and probably without a big fridge like this one. Yeah, so, ah yeah, there's also a big TV. So we are in the grab right now. We're going to a restaurant, a vegan restaurant, uh, 10 minutes uh, right away. We're not that hungry, but I think as soon as we get the food, uh, we will feel. Yeah, as soon as I see the menu, I'll be hungry. I already noticed that this city is very different during the night. It comes alive, basically. All, yeah. The, all the lights fun. are on, bars, restaurants, lots of people around. So Monica worked the whole day. No, half the day. Ah, yeah, sorry. For the half day, and this is the first time we're going uh, out. I went out earlier. Ah, we were here, remember? Walking here. Ah, we went yeah, past yeah. this bridge. Oh, the amount of scooters that I'm seeing right now is unbelievable. <laughs> what do you think so far? The first impression. Yeah, it's quite busy with scooters, especially this road. Unbelievable. 
Okay. Uh, this one? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, what? We arrived. Yeah, yeah, we're... So it seems like we arrived. Yeah, should be here. So is it here? Yeah. Ah, there. Okay, okay. Okay, I think we arrived. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good evening. Oh, what is this massive noise? That's massive lots of what? Noise. Where is the? Okay, you need to be very careful. They go everywhere. Unfortunately, the restaurant take the last order at 9 p.m. and now it's 9:10, so we go to another one. Let me see. But what time does that one close? At 10. Wow. They're crazy. So many. Wow. I never seen so many scooters in my life. So we're going to another vegan restaurant that it's around what 10 minutes walk away from here, maybe less. Uh, it's a shame because that restaurant was really good. I was really looking forward to eat that. But anyway, it is what it is. This looks really European. Why? Okay, let's Here cross. Ah, that's uh, Ho Chi Minh. Ah. So that, that one is the statue of, uh, I think, the person that saved, uh, um, saved Vietnam during the war. Now we're trying to cross. It's very difficult to cross in uh, Vietnam. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Crossing in Vietnam is like, uh, how can I say? Uh, yeah, but it's like, you know, you're risking your life every single time you cross the road. So it's quite intense, very intense. Never happened oh, in my life. Uh, Rolls Royce. Okay, we'll come later to pick it up. Thank you. Wow. Passion fruit and soy milk smoothie. That's how it is. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> wow, it's good. really nice. It's got crushed ice in it. This restaurant is called Shambhala. And they have like a massive menu. It's infinite. How many pages? So I've got the steamed lotus noodles. So basically this is noodles with tofu, mushrooms, and lotus leaf and carrot and cabbage. Sorry, not cabbage, lettuce. Mm. So I got uh, something like a pho with thin noodles, mushrooms, then some basil, onion, and I think there was something else. Let me try. Ah, oh, yeah, tofu and uh, yeah, chili peppers. So it's uh, it's similar to a pho, but it's a bit more uh, complex than most of. Mostly, it came with um, fresh salad and I don't know what it is to be honest. I think bean sprouts. Yeah, bean sprouts and maybe chili paste or something. Yeah, so. I'm gonna try now. Let's see how this. Mm. It's really good. This is um, oyster mushrooms, my favorite mushrooms. Even shiitake. Mm. So we just finished having dinner. Now we're going towards the walking street, the most famous one. The food was really, really good, but not cheap, to be honest. And no desserts. Yeah. So for two drinks and uh, two mains, we spent 16 pounds and 60. Which is still pretty cheap for UK standards. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, yes. but compared to lunch, we spent only six pounds. This was yeah. a bit more expensive. But I would say the quality of the food was really yeah. good. The service was uh, quite good. 
and the ingredients were really really fresh extremely fresh I would say so it was worth it but I think we can find uh, cheaper for sure Sleepy. Yeah. Monica is super tired. I mean, it's not easy, right? After 13 hours of flight, then yeah. four hours of work. I feel a bit tired too. So I think from tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow, we will be a bit better. Yeah, we'll get used to the time. Yeah, because the difference is quite big. It's seven hours difference from London. So, yeah. yeah it's a big difference. Until now, what I saw, very impressive. To be honest, it seems a really modern city. A bit chaotic, but it's fun, it's fun. Just bought um, some dried fruits. Ah, not the jackfruit. We, no, ah, yeah, the jackfruit. dried pomelo peel with passion fruit. Yeah, okay, let's see how it is. And in front of us, they're skating. It's like orange peel. They made a good business. I think literally that's what it is. The white part. It's okay. okay. No, not the best. But we try it. Yeah. I think it's okay. You don't like it? No. So we just received it. What was this? Mango? Mango? Yeah, mango fruit tea with... So mango fruit tea jelly with pearls. jelly pearls. Mm -hmm. okay. No sugar and no ice. Go, one, two, three. It's very sweet. Is it? Maybe we ask for less sugar. Maybe next time we need to ask for more sugar. Very sweet. So we asked for 30% sugar. It's still very, very sweet. It's massive. It's good, but yeah, it's very sweet. Maybe she didn't understand. This is our ticket. Yeah. Oh no, it does say 30% sugar. So this was for 50, 53,000 Vietnamese dong. That is uh, 1,082. I checked on Google, by the way. <laughs> so not bad, not bad. It's really big. So after this, we will go to have a walk uh, close to the river, and then we will go home because we're very tired. <laughs> no, look, there's still loads. So I was waiting for my tea to come back from Monica. Uh, she finished it all. Um, sorry. No, I'm joking. It was, uh, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah, it was. Next time we will ask for zero sugar. I don't like sugar that much. Yeah, we can go. No, wait. I ah, hear they go very fast. Yeah. Okay, we can go. Are you sure? Yeah. I heard of this taxi. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, it's a bit of water, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Ah. 
Yes. I find it incredible that it's midnight and it's still full of people. Yeah. I don't understand I like it. it. I mean, it, it's really yeah. nice because like they're full eating, drinking, full of lights, full of young people. But it's kind of difficult to understand because it's a first day and they have to work tomorrow. They either like sleep not enough or maybe tomorrow is maybe bank holiday, we don't know. In no, China. I don't think or maybe it's always like this, right? Yeah, or it's always like this. For the young, they go to school. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's really nice here. Yeah, look how nice. So, end of the first day here in Oshimi. It was very tiring. Uh, even though we did sleep a lot and eat a lot <laughs> and in we my had case so much food today. and work a lot and walked a lot but yeah, yeah. really knackered now so, so we need uh, to rest a bit more so we will be ready to explore more the city and there's so much to see the city is really really big and we don't have much time we will stay here only for uh, three days more and then we'll move to another two days actually only two days yeah okay friday yeah. and saturday Okay. And then we we'll leave Sunday morning. Okay, so, so after two days, and then we will move uh, up north to Da Nang. It's a coastal town. So good night. Good night. See you on the next one.